Daily Fire, episode 331. It's, you think they care, right? That's what's going to be the title. Daily Fire, episode 331. You think they care, but they don't. This is just some shit I tweeted. You think they are paying attention, but they aren't. And that's what is holding you back from trying your dreams? I don't think about so-called them. I think about what regrets I will have when I don't try to live up my dream. Okay? So I'm going to wrap that together for a second. So when you're making decisions on what they think you should look like, do, dress like, be, you're not really making those decisions on what you think you should be doing, dressing, being, and living. And then when that thought process is holding you back, you start to realize that those people probably most of the time aren't fucking paying attention anyway. And even when they are, it's going to force a regret on yourself because you didn't choose it. So when I try to make thoughts or when I try to create things, I don't really think about what someone is going to uh, think about it from a standpoint of like that it's not the way it's supposed to be or it should be this way or that way. Like that doesn't even like come into my consciousness. What I think about when I'm creating stuff, like when I just did the latest book, I um, bought an island and wrote a book, literally. And that's what the title is. That's what the title came to my mind. That's exactly what happened. And so whether people are put off by the title or love the title, that's not for me to decide. That's just the fucking title. And the things that kind of poured out of me that were inside of that book that I believe are super valuable just happened. And the feedback so far has been unbelievable. And so I can't then jump to a conclusion and say, I should write this book in this way. I should probably have a title in this way. No, it's just what it is. And then when I throw it out to the world, whatever comes back is what comes back. I can't dictate how people feel about it. I can't dictate if they want to read it or not. I hope that they get value. I believe they're going to get value. I think they're going to want to read it. I think they're going to be intrigued because this former guy, former coal miner that lived in a trailer just bought a fucking island. And then when he bought a fucking island, which by the way, 30 days before that didn't think was possible. And then he wrote a book. Well, I'm guessing in that book, there might be a couple tools or tricks or ideas that could contribute to me maybe going past what I think is possible. And that's exactly what the book is. I had to reread it because when I voiced it and when I wrote it, everything just happened. I don't even remember what I said because it was in a flow state. And so the reality is if I was worried about how I thought it should be, it wouldn't be. That's what holds back the creativity. Be your fucking self. Do I think this motherfucker's a bestseller? Yes. Do I think it's going to help a bunch of people? Yes. Do I think anyone can read it? Yes. Do I think you're going to get motivated by it? Yes. Do I think that you're going to think this motherfucker is just crazy enough that he pushed himself to this point from where he started to buy a fucking island? Yes. So at the end of the day, no matter whether you like to read a lot or you don't like to read at all. It's a one hour fucking read that is going to make you fucking think. That's what I know. And at the end of the day, I hope you feel the same way. I hope a million motherfuckers feel that way. But the reality is I can't control it. And so if I thought I could, you wouldn't get that book. You wouldn't get this guy. You wouldn't get any of this. So that's what you have to think about. Like, that's what you, you cannot be worried about what they and them and all of these things that they're putting on top of you because one, they probably don't care as much as you think they do. Two, if that's what's holding you back, then are you fucking kidding me? Like they're not going to come give you a fucking thumbs up stamp of approval. So why are you fucking looking for it? No, you, me, Corey, I need, I'm happy about when I read it back. I'm proud of it. If you think that, that's awesome too, and I hope you do. But the reality is this is a prime example of a project that just 
came out of nowhere and has happened and has continued to happen. It is continue continuing to happen. And at the end of the day, I hope it fucking works. I hope all of it works. I hope the build of the process, developing the island works. I hope the merch works. I hope the book works. I hope it all works. But if it doesn't, I still think it's fucking sweet. And I gave it my fucking all. And the reality is that's good enough. And that has to be good enough. And that has to be the fucking mentality when you're creating and doing and out here trying to be you. And I just want to try to get that across because you are watching it real time right now with fucking Muscle Island. It's real time. It's right in your face. On a multiple choice, if you said, Corey, here's five things you think you might do next month. Buying a fucking island, building a container house, writing a fucking book called I Bought an Island and Wrote a Book. Having fucking Muscle Island merch is not the one I would have fucking checked. I'm just telling you. Oh yeah, drive a boat. Wouldn't have checked that one either. None of it. So, all of the daily fires that I did today all led up to that opportunity and that I was prepared and I went in execution mode. And that's what you're going to hear with the book. And that's the thing, the point I want to make is that if I try to dial it back or I try to push it forward, I just said what was really happening, and that's what you got. All right, Daily Fire episode 330. We out.